for 89. He's 200 pounds, a junior. We're number 14, senior Ed Robbins. Starting at the fullback position, and we'll alternate out there with Kevin Howells, number 27, and Matt King, number 41. King is 5'10", he's 180, he is a senior. Howells is six foot. he's a 200-pounder. On the tailback side, Marcus Furman, number 23, 5'9", 160, and he's a sophomore, and he is quick as lightning. Matt Basinger, the senior quarterback, and he can throw it for one of the few times... Uh, in the last 25 years, they've opened it up somewhat this year, and uh, Basinger has done a fine job throwing the football. He had three TDs through the air, I think against Mount Lebanon, had a good passing week last week against uh, the uh, Albert Gallant Colonials. We'll be back and take a look at LH as we wrap up our pregame messages right after this. And uh, other problems, but uh, LH coming on the heels of a big win last week over Latrobe. Got a late second touchdown from Bosnick one of four that he scored and it was a great win last week and lh hopes to build on that here tonight but they are going to be depleted in the wide receiver core as you see here very shortly justin ward number 53 six foot 195 pound senior will start at the center will be backed up by keith bullish the guard ian Etheridge, number 50 six four two and a quarter he's a senior and on the other side it will be the sophomore ryan segment number 55 six two two forty a sophomore the tackles mike creighton 6'6", 250, a senior, number 66, Mike Grimm, number 79, 6'3", 265-pound junior. Look for Ben Persglove, Chris Morris, Ryan Mahoney, Bobby Walters back there to back them up. Your tight end, they'll alternate out there with Joey Price, number 80, at 6'4", 205, a junior. And Jeremiah Wally, number 82, 6'1", 210, he's a senior. Starting in the wide receiver tonight will be Justin Gietep, he's number 11, 6'3", 170, a junior. On the other side, look for uh, Eric Fronsek as your flanker. He's 6'2", 175. He's a senior, number 14. We will not have Rusty King tonight because of an injury. Also missing Daryl Samuel. So we are hurt and hurt uh, deeply at that wide receiver position. Look for young uh, Brian Florkovich, number 32, to be returning kicks and also maybe to play some as a wide out. You're starting H-backs uh, tonight, and they'll alternate with Kevin Rooker, number 30, and Russell Gibbs, number 10. 6'1", 170, a senior. For Gibbs, Rooker, number 35, 10, 175, a senior. You're starting tailback, Travis Matthews, 5'8", 170, a junior. And he'll be backed up, hopefully, tonight by Nick Lyon, number 22, 5'9", 150. He is a junior. Quarterback tonight, uh, Danny Bosnick. Had a great game last week. Threw for close to 200. Ran for close to 100. Scored four TDs, 6'7", 200-pounder. And he uh, will get the start. He's number three. He'll be backed up very capably by Justin Gietep. So that uh, concludes our pregame show. We'll look at both ball clubs. Stay tuned. We'll be back uh, with the start of tonight's game after these messages. And number 82, Jeremiah Wally. Quad A South, WPIL's conference action play as the Laura Highlands Mustangs take on the Connellsville Area Falcons. Hi again, everyone, for 299 WCQR-FM. I'm John Chazarek, live with tonight's game, and we do want to remind you that this game will be seen in its entirety on Channel 62, Helicon Cable System. Your South Union Township Sports Network coverage begins at 6.05 on Sunday evening. LH has won the toss. They have elected to receive. We'll defend the goal to our left. Connellsville will tee it up and kick off, defending the goal to our right. LH is a solid blue with the white numerals, the red helmets, and the red socks, and they deploy deep with number 32, Florkovich, and number 28, Travis Matthews. Connellsville will be in the solid white, blue numerals, blue helmet, and blue trim. We've got an outstanding uh, matchup here tonight, hopefully. We've got Pretty good field conditions. Uh, had some heavy rain and soccer game on here last night, of course. Uh, the turf torn up somewhat, but the people doing a fine job getting everything ready. So LH will defend our left and teeing it up for Connellsville will be number 43, Drew Joseph. So Drew Joseph will handle the kickoff duties here tonight. And they tee it at the 40-yard line. So senior night festivities. And we'll get a chance to uh, mention everybody here very shortly as we get set to go. And on the TV side, I want to remind you, right after our game tonight, leave it where it is because we have got uh, on CU TV, 
It'll be the uh, Peters Township Ball Club taking on number one, Bell Vernon. The ball is off the tee, and they'll reset it. Your officials here tonight, let's, while we got a break, let's run them by you. It'll be Larry uh, Suquette, the field judge, Paul Soroka, the back judge, Tom Diggs, the referee, Pete Ross, the umpire. It'll be uh, Dave Perello, the linesman, and Gary uh, Dilmore, the line judge. Kick is away, short, down the middle, and gets in behind Florkovich. He's all the way back to the eighth. Looks for some running room. Comes to the 10 if he gets the corner and out of bounds. So LH did not field it very well, and they'll start at their own 10 yard line. Brian that ball cannot ball be allowed to hit the ground. Line You've got to come up and get it. And we'll take it under dead run and move it up the field. So it'll be first down and 10. Put it down at the 11 yard line. LH starts this drive deep in their own territory. Maxie, let's put it at the 12. So under center will be Justin Ward. Wide to the left side, goes Z-Tep, Bronsett comes up here wide right, a one-back set, offset with the wing to the left. Bosnick on first down, going to slip it off inside, Matthews lowers the shoulder and rips ahead for about four yards. Travis, carry. Try and set that defense for you for Connellsville. Up to make the hit with Jimmy Hughes. Big number 95 along that defensive well, line on the left the side. That's David Nedro. So look at the second down and three, Dan six. Again, identical back, back formation set. And again, it's right side, Travis Matthews and Travis Matthews, Hammer. Again, they the over the, the, the top to finish the job. And again, it's Nedro on the bottom. So Matthews with a gain of a couple brings up third down and about... Five. Two yards on the play. Eleven minutes to go, just underway. First position. Third down four. Ball spotted near the 23-yard line. They're going to be alternating balls and having a tie with the officials to keep it dry because it is awfully wet out there. Double wide out detail to the left side along with Bronsett. Bosnick under center. He's going to roll to the left side, and he's going nowhere. He is hammered. Coming up hard, making the sack was number 41, Matt King. He blew through there untouched. Big loss on the play of about nine, and that will bring up fourth down and 13. Bosnick will punt it out of the end zone. Gets a big rush. He got it out of there. All partially blocked, so there'll be no rough. Taken by Furman on the fly, and he fumbles the football, and L.A. has it. L.A. gets the football. Russell Gibbs on the recovery, and L.A. will have it at the 35-yard line. So first down and 10. The return man came up, tried to get it on the dead run. And it is at the 34 yard line, first down and 10. So let's see if LH can take advantage of this big break. Clock is running with 9.50 to go in the opening quarter. There is no score. Number 66, Creighton. And number 50, Etheridge, the right side of the line. Segment. The left side, along with Mike Grimm in your center, is Ward. First down. From the 34, what do we got? Flag. We got a flag from the linesman. Let's see the call. That could be against Connell's in the neutral zone or against L.H. Here's the call. Offside against L.H. Laura, so Laura Hyman's got into the neutral zone. So L.H. with the five-yard penalty. Back to the 29, the clock running with 9.30 to go. No score. First down, 15 yards to go. Bosnick now hurt by the penalty. We'll send Ward out over the ball. Detep left. Bronsek wide to the right side. No score as we hit the 9-10 mark. Bosnick straight back, setting up. Fires outside, and Detep, if he gets it, as breaking on the ball, was the linebacker, Derek Shevo, and he just deflected it up. Bosnick, uh, if he connects there, could be a big play because he was heading down the sideline with it. Pass in completion. Brings up second down now and 15. Gave him a little bit more time that time. LH will have to throw on the early down. 
Dr. Sheba in front of us, and uh, at halftime we'll be able to give you the uh, senior night participants here tonight. Motion now from Price to the left side. Blitz coming. Pop outside. Comes out here to Gichap on the corner. Turns upfield. And he is ridden out of bounds. Justin Gichap, by number 41, Matt by King. Pass completion. Goes to Gichap. A quick out. Picks up maybe six yards. Making it down from five. Third down and ten. So we're looking at third down now. And ten. Clock stopped at the nine minute mark. Line of scrimmage is the 35. I'll tell you, Furman was coming on a blitz from the weak side corner. And he had dead the aim on Bosnick, but uh, able to get the pass off and the completion. So it's third and ten. A no back now. And Connellsville coming. All out. They fired to the outside. This might be a lateral. No, incomplete pass. Try to get it out here to Matthews. So the pass is incomplete. Brings up fourth down, and LH, unable to capitalize, will have to kick it out of there. Fourth down and 10, and the line of scrimmage is the 35-yard line. So again, Furman goes back deep. Back deep to receive for just about had it. Quick snap. Got it out. A big, high, floating spiral. Fair catch. And take it back from and call by the 31 yard line. 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 So it will be this first and 10. First down and 10 for the Connellsville Area Falcons. Time remaining, 8.51. And try and run some of the senior night participants down here for you. Keith Bolish, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Keith Bolish. Mike Creighton, the son of Ted and Bernadette Creighton, Matt Doyle, son of Deborah Doyle, Ian Etheridge, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Emil Etheridge, Eric Fronsek, his parents, uh, Bernie and Jackie Fronsek, uh, here tonight, and Russell Gibbs, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Matt Gibbs. So we'll get that back to you very shortly as Basinger has him out on first down and 10. Motion now coming from the right side from Robin. Back to throw, man coming wide open, fires out in the flat, complete. And the ball loose on the ground. Let's see the call. No, he's down. Pass complete to Robin. Number 14. Eight. Second and two. Making the hit was Rooker. So it'll be second down now and about two yards to go. Ball came loose, but well after he had hit the ground. So second down now and two to go. Connellsville at the 39-yard line. Basinger under center, and he'll send Robin to the left side. Eye formation set, and Furman dots the eye. Motion back in the right tackle move. This will be a foul, moving him back five. Illegal motion. Illegal procedure called against Carlsville. Leads him out of the huddle. He's six foot two sixty-five. He's a good one. Second down now, in about eight to go. Ball spotted at the thirty-four yard line. Ball resting on the thirty-four yard line. Basing her to the sideline, gets the call. Out of that lineup goes Dennis Show. And number ninety-five, David Nedro, tight end to the left side. Robbins goes out wide. Eye formation, deep in the eye. Is Furman. The handoff goes to the fullback up inside, and he leans ahead. Four yardage to the 40 yard line. All the carry. That was one. Matt King. Gain of there by number three, Dan Bosnick for Laurel Island. Bosnick up from the secondary. It'll be third and short now at the 725. Third down and one. Third down and a long one to go for the Falcons. They took over at their own 32 yard line following a long Just outside the 40 yard line. L.A. has possessed it twice, and three and out on each possession. Third down now, and wide to the left side will come Eric Cooper. L.A. up tight, man coverage on the outside receiver. This is where Connellsville is at its toughest, short yardage situation. Big handoff inside, and ahead for the first down is Furman. Got about Furman three, that was all. And he is stopped by Rooker. Clock turns at the 639. Ian Etheridge will call the defensive set for LH. Try and set that line for you. It looks like Price and Wally are your defensive ends. 
Might be Creighton down there on the line. Pitch left side, look out. They try and string it out. Furman cuts up inside and on his feet, dragging people. Marcus Picks Furman up at the left side, yards. Price is back side. Looker, Kevin Rooker, and assisted by Joe Price. And gain of the Mustang. for the Falcons. At the 618 mark, the clock will start. Joey Price. I think mean, a couple weeks ago, and I apologize again to his parents, I think I kept referring to him as Jeff Price. And Jeff, of course, uh, graduated in 95, and he was a fine ball player in his own right. Wide to the right side. We'll go Ed Robbins now. A split receiver out here to the left side. Berman the eye on first down and 10. Basinger sends motion to the left side. Going to hand off up inside and moving ahead for good yardage is number 41, Matt King. Matt King, King the ball carrier for Bill. Up ahead. Stopped by Matthews. So a gain of about seven, second and three. Gain of seven on the play. 5.34 to go. Into that lineup for Connellsville comes Dennis Show, number nine. Second down and three for the Falcons. The ball on the Mustang, 33-yard line. The 33. Wide to the right side now goes Eddie Robinson. Out here to the left side is Show. Under center. They hand it off up inside, and the big pullback is hit by Jeremiah Wally and Etheridge, but ripping ahead to the first yeah, one. So it's 21, 41. So with that, the 30 yard line, the 29. Out of the lineup for LA will come Mike Craig. Nine yard line is the first and ten. Collinsville at the 29 yard line, first down and ten. Looks like Bobby Neverdale, number 59, is checked in. Boy, good to see him out there. Want to send greetings out to his sister Lisa and the Neverdale family, listening in or watching tonight, hopefully. Bobby had an eye infection early in preseason. Basinger rolls right, has a big hole, cuts upfield, down he goes. Good tackle by uh, Utep coming up. Cutting down after the game. Oh, that was a nice open field. Sure. Second down now and five. Line of scrimmage is the 25-yard line. Into the lineup for Connellsville will come Todd Bell, number 81. So Todd Bell will see a lot of action at that wide out position. Second down and about six. Line of scrimmage at the 25. No score with 4.11 to go. Rolling left, looking. Man comes open, fires up field. Incomplete. He had two men open. Threw over number 84 as it was intended maybe for Jeff Nicholson. And in behind him, I think was number 81, Todd Bell. And the pass went in between both of them. Pass incompletion brings up third. about six so lh can get a good play out of this let's see neverdale in there number 59 also number 72 jared kingston so the four down linemen are neverdale kingston price and jeremiah wally on third down and seven handoff up inside of the big rumbling fullback and he's got the first down fighting for yardage goes king that's the big one right there they get the first down neverdale and bosnick on the tackle He is at uh, the 14-yard line at the 355 the 14, mark. The first and 10. Never going to come out of there. Connellsville, that was a key play right there. So the workhorse on this drive has been number 41, King. Under center, Basinger. Going to pitch. Furman cuts up. Look out. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. And he's touched down. Touchdown comes. 331. Make it a 68-yard drive. All on the ground. Yeah. And the touchdown, a 14-yard run by Furman. Drew Joseph will attempt the PAT. And Connellsville leads it six to nothing. Here's the snap. 
It's on the tee, plenty of leg, and it is true. It is 7 nothing. 3.31 to go. Donald is the lead. We'll be right back. At the 3.29 mark. Put it down at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. LH with wide receivers left and right. Bosnick under center and a one-back set. Now it's a no-back. And motion. They fire to the outside. Ball tipped and almost intercepted by Connellsville. So, second and ten now. Second down and ten. Up on that defensive line now, number 89, Eric Kuzer. Well, LH was fortunate there. Ricks, number 79, 95, Nedro. 61 is inside, and that would be Waylon Livingood, a sophomore. So, Connellsville next year, if not this year, will be a force because they have got a lot of young people playing. Second down, and again, it's a no back as they send the H back in motion. Bosnick back to throw, fires out here to Gtap and incomplete. Bosnick back and center for number 11, Justin Gtap is incomplete. Third down and 10, that Gtap covered like a blanket by Furman at the 322 mark. LH looking at third down, and the better part, not the better part of exactly 10 to go. 7 nothing Falcon. After a Mustang punt, they drove it 68 yards all on the ground. 14-yard run by Furman on a sweep for the touchdown. Into the lineup, and wide left. We'll go Fonsec, Gtep man-to-man here down, covered by Marcus Furman. Draw handoff up inside to Travis, and Matthews hits the head before he's stopped by Wayland Living Good. Living Good also there. That will be got four as the play picks up five. LH will kick it out of here again. is back deep. Here comes the rush. Oh, he got it out of there. Partially blocked. And they're going to say no roughing call. Bosnick was hammered. For the call, but he immediately raised his hand and just said it was uh, put him together. And it was tipped. So partially blocked. That waves off the roughing call. Connellsville gets it. First down and 10 at uh, their own 45-yard line. Falcons lead at 7 to nothing at the 249 mark as Basinger will operate from that quarterback spot. And he will send Dennis Show wide to the right side. Inside of him will be right. 7 nothing Falcons. Under center is Basinger on first down. Going to roll straight, fire up, ball tipped incomplete. I don't think that was Wally. May have tipped it. Trying to get it out here. Second down. Second down and ten. The accounting firm of Smith, Lewis, Chess and Company is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's Laurel Highlands High School football game. The office is located at 625 Cherry Tree Lane and their phone is 438-7088. Again, thanks to the accounting firm of Smith, Lewis, Chess and Company. Motion now from Furman. And a handoff inside goes to Furman. He cuts up field and will be close to the first down. And he's not not a he's up on the stop. But also thank the 1998 Laurel Highlands football group for all their help in sponsoring uh, tonight's ball game on CUTV and the South Carolina Sports Network. Talking about President Tom Segman, Jackie Fronsek, the secretary, and the vice president, Dick Rockwell, treasurer, Linda Rooker. So third and about a foot. And at the 214 mark out of the lineup, we'll go Dennis Show. Now here wide, the tight end will be number 84, Jeff Nicholson. Now he'll place as a power formation, power eye. And the deep handoff goes to Furman, and he is cut down Bosnick with a short tackle. But he gained a five at the first line. Very, very nice story in today's Pittsburgh uh, Post-Gazette about young Danny Bosnick and the 
physical problems that he suffered last year and how well he bounced back from it. And can't say enough about this kid and also uh, his two brothers, Mike and Nick. Got to know them very well over the last several years. And the Bosling family's got to be proud of their three sons and, of course, the lovely daughter also. And uh, I'll tell you, just a, a wonderful experience to talk with this young man. Timeout call, 131 to go, 7 up in your score. I'm John Kazarek, Connell's who on top. We're coming back in 60. First down and 10 now. With 131 showing, the ball is spotted at the 40-yard line. Connells are leading it 7 and nothing, looking for more. And they will send Todd Bell to the left side. Wide in an eye formation set. And a handoff on a fake to the right side. Here comes Furman. Slips out of the tackle and gets just shy of the first down. Gain of about nine, and he'll be about a ball length short, I believe. It brings up second. Kingston on the stop. Steps out of the tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Gain of nine on the play. It's a second and one. Todd Russell, number 46, in there for LH as one of the linebackers. Todd, a 5'10", 165-pound sophomore, made the hit. So, second and short, good passing down. Let's see if Basinger airs it out. Motion, Furman, fake, handoff up inside to the fullback, and Bosnick hanging on to King. He'll have the first down. I think it's Price there also. Let's see if they untangle. No, that's Jeremiah Waller and number four, Pitt, Russell. So, first down. It is at the 23-yard line. If this is a Jones running play, they stay in bounds. Three yard line. It'll be the final First play of the half. Hand off Furman, up inside, and I'll tell you, just leaving tacklers in his way. He'll be to the 15-yard line, and that will be the final play of the quarter. As we wind it down, as Furman picks up about seven, we'll be back. Second quarter action comes up, 7 nothing Connellsville. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, second quarter here. It'll be a second down and a round two for Connellsville. Yeah, Justin here tonight. Bobby Walters, the son of uh, Jim and Joyce Walters, and Justin Ward, the son of Gene and Cindy Ward. Okay, Gene does a great job up here with the rest of the maintenance crew in getting uh, the field and uh, everything else ready for the ball game. So we're ready to roll, second down now and three. We'll get to the cheerleaders, and we'll also get to the uh, usherettes, I believe, tonight. And thanks to uh, Barry Rosner for providing this. Just not enough time to tape it uh, prior to the game. We've just allotted so many minutes and hours. So here we go, second down now and about three. Basinger, pocket pass, oh, he is hammered. Pass incomplete in the end zone, and Etheridge put a hurting on him coming pass up the middle. Pass incomplete. Close to the end two, appeared to be oh, deep no. I tell you, Etheridge came untouched, and he leveled Mr. Basinger. So third down now, and three. Line of scrimmage is the 15-yard line. Into the lineup for Connellsville will come number 95, David Nedro, 214-pound tight end. Show. Well, this is a young football team. Matt Hicks at number 57 out there, along with uh, Ricks on the right side, and he'll go up inside, and there he is. Waiting in the hole was number 72, Jared Kingston, the stopping dead in his tracks. Down. Well, this would be a big confidence here right here. If LH can stop him on fourth and two. Fourth down and two, 11.34 to go. And it's a, a good full two yards for the first down. Good play there by number 72, Kingston. I think it's Bobby Neverdale in there right now. So here we go. Under center. 
They option it down the line. The quarterback keeps it up inside. He has got the first down. He's to the eight yard. So LH gives up the first down yardage on fourth and two. Eleven minutes to go. Gary Carter here tonight. Well, I'm a school board member, also a parent of a senior cheerleader. And we'll get to the cheerleaders coming up next. Daughter Tara, a member of the cheerleading staff, at the eight-yard line. He'll slip it off inside to Furman. And he lost the football, but he got it. The it's back at the nine-yard line. By number 30. Let's see what they Gibbs on the hit along with Rooker, so it'll be second down now, and goal to go from the eight yard line. Time remaining, 10-19 on our running clock. Seven up in Falcons as we play here in the early moments of the second quarter. I want to remind you that Oldie's Unlimited and Arnie Amber into his 22nd year coming up right after tonight's game. Robin is way wide to the left on second down and eight. He'll pitch, and they've got some blocking on the corner. Furman, he's strung out. He breaks uh, through and gets to the five-yard line. Good job by L.A. stringing it out. Bosnick. L.A. appeared to have it stuffed initially, and then he broke his hand, got outside. I thought he'd score, but then Bosnick closed in a hurry. It's the ball length inside the five. It's at the four, we'll call it. 9.30 to go. Third down and goal from right at the four-yard line. Into the Falcon lineup comes number 27, Kevin Howes. He had a call in that full uh, house. Now it's a straight tee, too tight. We haven't seen this formation. They'll option right with the quarterback. He cuts up, touchdown, and the flag coming in. Thrown by the call. Touchdown by Basinger. Now the officials will come over holding, and this will nullify it. So this will send it back from the two-yard line out to about the 12. Let's see, the flag is at the two, and if that's the spot, they'll take it to the 12. You go from the spot of the foul. And I'll tell you what, holding might have occurred in the end zone. Down to the nine yard line. Back to the nine yard line. So it's got to be a 10 yard penalty. Well, I don't understand that one. Well, I want a clarification on that one. Got to get it to the 12, gentlemen. And he does now. Thank you, sir. They were marking at the nine. There's no way you can assess it from uh, inside the goal line. And the uh, if nothing else, if they cross the goal line, you take it to the 10, and the spot appeared to be at the two. And that's where it is. So it's third and goal now at the 12. So come on, Alex, just dig in and take advantage. Be a Kingston, Price, and Wall, the four front men, four linebackers. Basinger sends a man in motion. Lion. There's a pressure coming left side. Ball tipped incomplete. Good pressure from Price. Brings up fourth and ten. Basinger took another hard hit. So L.H. hanging in there a bit. Fourth down. This is a big one at the 12. And they will issue the attempt for the touchdown and go for the field goal. The ball is directly between the hash marks. So this will be in the middle of the field. And they're going to spot it at the 19. Let's call it the 20. This will be a 30-yard attempt. Nedro with Joseph with the hold. Now you gotta be leery of the fake. On fourth down. Here's a snap, a low snap. It's handled. And on the tee, it's no good. So LA dodges the bullet. And they will take over. First down to take their own 12 yard line. 7 0 at the 857 mark. With the help. I want to again say thanks to the 1999 Laurel Highlands Football Boosters for helping sponsor tonight's game. 
on CU TV and the South Union Township Sports Network. Want to thank President Tom Segman, his Vice President Dick Rothwell, Secretary Jackie Fronsek, and the Treasurer Linda Rooker. To LA, looking at the first round. And Ellie, with some confusion, we'll take a timeout. So there's timeout on the field, time in for the 60 second method. A couple of changes on the offensive line. Like ben Hurst, yard 76, 225 pound sophomore, and big number 71 for LA. Chris Saunders, the 6'4, 230 pound junior, has checked in. So a couple of changes. Let's see if we can open up some holes. And the handoff is to Matthews. Lean maybe two on the play. Stop by number 79, Rick. Rick's on the stop. Game three on the play. Three will make it. Second down now in about seven. Eight forty-one to go. LH looking for their first first down. This is their fourth possession. It's been the tango offense so far. One, two, three, kick each and every time. So Saunders. And first off, a couple of new tackles in there right now for L.A. On second down, Bosnick, long count, straight back, lets it fly, has a man downfield. It is taken on a great catch by Geekstep to the 40-yard line, and the Mustangs have a first down. Gain on the play is 10, 20, 30, about 40 yards. Second catch for Geekstep, Bosnick laid it out there, and the Mustangs. Let's give them their first first down of the night. And LH driving at the 40 yard line. First down and 10. He was stopped there by number 92, Dennis Sherwood. First down. And Detep will go wide to the right side. Wide to the left comes the offset. Strong offset to the right side with the H back. Gonna slip it off to Matthews. No, Bosnick keeps looking for the corner and down he goes. Very close to breaking for good yardage. But I'll tell you, nice job by Eric Cooper to make the hit. If he eludes that tackle, he has got maybe a first down. Gain of one, second and nine now. Gain of yard on the way, second down and nine. 35 to go. Put it down after 39 yard line, seven nothing. Connell's go on top. LH may be in four down territory at the 39. Second down now. The one back set for Connell's is stacked up inside. They have got everybody inside the tight ends and two people out. Back Bosnick throwing again. Fires incomplete. Try to get it out here for yeah, well, the Good coverage by Basinger. Third down. And I think it was Dennis Show. So it'll bring up third and nine now. 7-0 as we hit the 7-minute mark. LH on the short end of it. Connellsville getting a touchdown on a 14-yard run by Marcus Berman. Got a wide receiver set to the right side. That is Kevin Wooker. Now a flanker, a one-back set, and a slot to the left side. Bosnick on third and nine. See if they try and run it with a sweep. He's straight back, blitz coming. Gonna fire out here, incomplete. Good coverage by Connellsville. Try to get to Matthews. Good Matthews coverage again complete. by Eric Cooser. Fourth down. Fourth down. And if you're LH right now, I think you punt. It's at the 39 yard line, 7.04 to go. Bosnick has not had a whole lot of time. Catches by Gita. Oh, they're going for it. Now they shift. Bosnick. Formation. And it is partially blocked, and it will go exactly 10 yards. Might have been touched, so it'll be first down and 10. Let's see if Trainac checks in for LH on the defensive side of the football. I say nice to see Lyons out there. He had a severe ankle sprain down at Shady Side Academy in the opener. And since then has not played very much other than a couple snaps last week. So this one will start at the first down and ten Falcons. They lead it seven to nothing. Under center is Basinger. Motion now. They're going to hand it off here to Furman. It's strung out by 
L.A. And Etheridge on the hit. Wally strung it out a bit, and then Etheridge closed. Gain of about five. five the the 45 mark. Seven nothing, your score. Checking into the lineup. No, just to the sideline and get the play is Basinger. A nice chat with Rick Hogger here tonight, uh, LHAD, along with Pete uh, Stefanson, his assistant. I'm going to thank them for getting everything coordinated and set up here. Some nice refreshments up above. And always nice to come home. The handoff up inside and running for big yardage is King, and he's ahead. He's got a first down. Jeremiah Wally on the hit. With the Rooker, and also coming up from the secondary, Russell Gibbs. So it's to the 45, so they pick up 15. We're all right now now at the 44, rather. 6.07 to go, so we're approaching the midway point of this quarter. 7-0, Connellsville. Jeremy, Jeremy Hyatt checks in. Again, I want to say hi to Bertie Bullish. Listening tonight, big LH fan. And his grandson on the squad here tonight. Handoff Furman, running room left side. It's strung out and coming up on a play is Trainer. Got him with a sure-handed tackle. Mark Trainer drills him for a loss. It'll be second and 11, 5.33 to go. LH hanging right there with him. It's just a 7 nothing ball game. It's at the 43-yard line, second down and 10. LH. Last time they had it, got to the 39-yard line and just couldn't move the sticks after a 40-yard pass completion. Got them out uh, in good field position. Wide to the right side comes Eddie Robbins as Jay Fox leads him out over the football. Back to throw base as they're setting up. Man coming free down the middle. Fires short, complete. He's got his first down. <laughs> Okay, with Matthews on the hit. That's the 38. First down at the 38. Clock running at the 450 mark. I'll tell you, Basinger looks sharp back there. It's a good arm. That's the 38-yard line. First down and 10. Seven-nothing ball game, but Connellsville driving. Hash mark left. You got sideline left in the open field to the right side. Basinger's under center. And he'll roll left after a fake to Furman. Plenty of time. Fires short, complete, and slipping a tackle with King. And he is down to the side. Well, I tell you, should have been hit and dropped after about a three-yard game. But finally, Rooker got to him down. But he stepped out of a beautiful tackle. 23-yard run. First down and 10 now. It's at the 23. Out over the football comes Fox. Sideline and open field to the right side. Basinger on a handoff to Furman. He's got a big hole he made score. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. 23 yards and a touchdown. As Furman scores at the 352 mark of the second quarter. And the PAP coming. Out of the hole. Number 14, Robin, will be Joseph to attempt it. And it's on the tee, plenty of leg up, and... is short and this one hopefully gets out of bounds and just does whoa LH took a chance and a gamble right there it 
It'll be first down and 10 now. LA, let's see where they mark it. I think they'll bring it all the way out around the 35 yard line. Down and 10. LA. Mustangs with the uh, football. Mustangs now on their own 35-yard line. Has them set. 350 to go. Under center now. Vosnick, long count. Sprint out, handoff goes up inside, Matthews with his ankle tackle breaker for a big yard. Picks up about five. Let's say the five on the play, second down and five. Second down and five to go. A gain of five on the play for Matthews. Thirty-nine yard line, call it the forty. Second down now and five. LH with the football. Ball spotted at the 40. Bosnick, quick toss outside, and Vitep is almost yeah, headed right Lee's there. Pass incomplete. Brings up third down now. And it will be third down and the better part of five for the first down. Third down and five yards to go. Incompletion. Brings up third and five with 3.02 to go. LH needs the first down. Take the top off the clock. Don't want to give it back to Connellsville with three minutes to go. I can tell you that. Boss is straight back half in time. Going to air it out deep downfield. And the pass incomplete. And he's uh, he looking for the interference call. They were hanging all over him, I thought. And, well, I tell you, he was impeding him. No call. Brings up fourth. Should have been a flag. And I'll tell you, the L.A. bent protesting. I think if you could run a replay on that, you'd see he was holding it. Bosnick will kick it out of here now. Lion checks in. He'll block up in that front wall. Snaps a good one. It is blocked. They had gotten their hands on a couple of them already. This one is loose. And Connells will get at 29 yards. Kevin Howells blocks it. So it is at the... Call the 28-yard line. First down and 10. 2.48 to go. 14 nothing Connellsville on top. First and ten. Pitch will come to Furman. Cutting up the right side. Has a big hole. He's in the 20. Flips the tackle. 10-5. Touchdown. Takes a 29 yards. And this one comes at 239 of the second quarter. And make it now 20 to nothing and the PAT coming. Teeing it up will be the holder, Robin. Joseph to attempt it. He's got a strong leg. Here's the whistle or the snap on the tee. And up and no good. 20 to nothing at the 239. We'll be back. Connell will lead it. 20 zip. The Mustangs drive Matthews. They run up. And the kickoff is downfield. It'll be gathered in here by Matthews. 20, 25, 30. He lost the foot. First down and 10. That's the 29 yard line. Stop by number 84. Jeff Nicholson for Connellsville. 
LA has it. First down and ten. It's at the 30 yard. 2.33 to go, 20 to nothing is your score. Hash mark right. Open field to the left side. Under center comes Bosnick. And handoff right side. Hitting up in. Travis Matthews. And he'll be... Gain of about three, second down and seven. I want to remind you that following our telecast here tonight, the CU TV Game of the Week, immediately after this, uh, we'll feature uh, Bell Vernon and Peters Township. Good triple A matchup there. And that's right after our game. Second down at the two minute mark, clock is running. Gain of about three, second and seven. Bosnick under center. Going to fake, going to roll right, going to fire to the middle, and it is complete to Price, and he's got the first down. Nice catch by Joey. So the first down is complete. Price with the catch. Pick up of eight, and a Mustang first down. 140 to go, so if nothing else, a couple of running plays, and LH might be able to run out the clock here without giving it back to Connellsville. 136, 135 to go. Up to 41. Hand off, right side, Travis, and slams it Over there to make the hit with number 89, Eric Cooper. Gain of one. Clock running at the 109 mark. Let's see if LH tries to air it out deep here. Second down, nine yards to go. Straight back, Bosnick. Tries to hit his man on the side. Geets up. And pressure coming from Furman. On the left side. And it appeared as if pressure coming from, I don't know if it was Harrison. Looked like a five. I don't know if that was 85 Allen Harrison or 15. No, it might have been 15 Basinger. It's all the five there. So the pass incomplete brings up third. And let's see if LH tries to the draw on third down. Gitep goes wide to the right side. Out there with him is Fransek. Double receivers and Bosnick. Going to fire. Incomplete. Try to get it to Fransek. Had inside position that time on Furman with the pass overthrown. So three of 11 now for 53 yards. Two grabs by Gutep and Price with one catch. 42 seconds to go, LH will be forced to kick it away. That's a 42-yard line. Now, got a good one away, and now we get the roughing call. So this will get the ball up for a first down. Bosnick with a shot, and they'll march this one off. And this will be a first down. So 33 seconds to go. I want to remind you that next Wednesday night, uh, we'll have L8 Soccer coming your way on CUTV, home of the South Union Township Sports Network. As we've had the opportunity to cover a lot of soccer the last couple of years. Talking with Township Supervisor Bob Schiffbauer uh, during the previous festivities here. And and on how far we've come in about seven years. And I tell you, it's been a nice ride. We've enjoyed it. And I tell you, couldn't have done it without Jerry and couldn't have done it without Bob and uh, also the other Township Supervisors, Mr. Kogel and Mr. Frank Hauser. But got to give special thanks to Bob Schiffbauer for all the help he's given us. Under center, Bosnick, we got a whistle. What do we got, guys? Delay of game? Let's see. Timeout, Connell. Timeout, Connell. 
33 seconds to go, 29 seconds. Timeout on the field. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Check out the Carl Phil Falcon Marching Band and the Laura Highlands High School. Even on the golf cart, and that's not a good sign. Believe me, he's not going to the next tee. First attempt, Laura Highlands. He looks like he uh, might have had some bruised ribs. The 33-yard line of Carl Phil. So it is first down and 10 at the 43. Now you try and air it to the end zone. After the roughing call gives you the first down, Bosnick straight back, going to air it out. Fires upfield, Gtep comes back and can't make the play. I tell you, riding him down the field, stride to stride with Dennis Show. So that brings up second down now with 27 seconds to go. Put it down at the 42-yard line. Second down and 10. We've got 27.7 seconds remaining. 20 to nothing, Connellsville. I tell you, Furman has been a load here tonight, as has been the big fullback king. Basinger appears to have a heck of an arm, and they are more prone to throw it this year than they have been in years gone by. Look out here, guys. You're going to get a delay. L.A. very slow getting the play call from the sideline, and they better hustle this one up. They're looking at that clock right now. you got 25 seconds from the time it's whistled, and did they beat it? Oh, they just did. Bosnick. Under center, tuck it away, and he does. He's sacked. Looks like a jailbreak right there. By number 95, and David Rick Nedrow. down here, Nedro. It'll be all the way back line. to the 48-yard line, and Beaner calls It'll be a first time. down and 20. L.H. will take a and timeout. timeout 17 and a half seconds to go. We'll be back. All right. And 19 following the sack and the timeout. Now for Laurel As Bosnick under center, trailing at 20 to nothing back across midfield now after the 12 yard loss. And rolling, splitting out, having a little more time. Oh, look out. He is hammered and the pass is incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Bosnick Pressure is coming from number 78, down. John Molnix. Brings up fourth and. 11.7 seconds to go. You can't run that time off with a running play unless you get the first down. If you stop quickly, they'll get the ball back. If you punt it, they're still going to get it back with some time. And if you go for it here, uh, and evidently we are, as he's at a mass huddle over there with Fronsek, Gtep, and Bosnick, and don't see any indication they're going to punt it. So let's see what L.A. does with it on fourth down. And 19, it's at the 47-yard line. Bosnick, long count, option right. And I don't know if that was a bucket yeah, play or what that was. So Connell's will get it with six, six, six seconds to go. Bosnick right picks up three. And that, my friends, will give Connell's will the ball right at midfield. Event right now. I'll tell you, Bosnick showing the effects of a pounding. He's got his hands on his knees, doubled over a little bit. I'll tell you, this guy gives you everything he got. Gtep will be out on the corner, and they'll double wide out to the right side with Nedro and number 92. And LA is going to take a timeout. Timeout call down below. We'll keep it right here. Give Arnie a break back at the board and remind you that uh, this game will be seen its, in its entirety on Sunday night right here on uh, Channel 62, home of the South Union Township Sports Network. We'll tonight. get underway at uh, 605. Let's take a look at the senior night uh, roster of cheerleaders and parents here tonight. Jody uh, Abraham, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Abraham, honored here tonight. Lori Baird, the daughter of Betty and Tom Lewis and Alan Baird. Tara Carter, known this young lady for many, many years, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gary Carter. Megan Elias, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Bill Elias. Always enjoy talking with Bill during the summer at the games out at Hopwood. Kristen Gatiss, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Gatiss. Dan, a real good friend of ours, and his uh, son Brian played for L.H. here about three years ago. Kristen Corona, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joe Corona, have known Joe for many years. Becky Lucott, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. William Lucott. Kurt Shepard, 
Now we'll get to the rest of them here on this final. We have five, four, pressure coming. Three, two, he's got some running room now. Basinger will be hit at the horn. Good pressure from uh, Ward right here. You're going to hold him down a little bit and get back into this thing. You've got to stop him on this first drive. Yeah, he takes it down down the field and punches we'll it in immediately. The then uh, you're down four touchdowns right off the bat here to start the second half, and the hole you've dug is even deeper. Once again, there is a person sitting over in front of the nice to, nice to Hall of Fame over there. If anyone is interested, Mr. Tomorrow Mr. Highland, Mr. Tep here tonight. Uh, see Mark Edwards with his dog. Mr. 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 right in front of it. We're ready to roll. And $50 if anyone is interested. Peter Davis get the details uh, from the was injured in, in the, the soccer wall. match. Right now. Jerry picked up on that during the pregame ceremonies, and he is down in front of us with his right shoulder in a sling. Looking down there. So that's going to hurt the soccer team. Uh, in particular, and hurts us here tonight. And let's see who tees it up for L.A. You got the number? Looks like number 87 for Laurel Highlands. Might be Danny Rockwell. So good to see Danny, who had some foot problems earlier this year. So Danny, to receive for Bill is number 23, Marcus Furman. This is very high, very miles. short. And it'll be taken by one of the up men, Todd Bell. He is cut Ball down about the 38 yard line. line. So, first down and 10 for the Falcons. They lead it by the count of 20 to nothing. L.A. sending Kingston, Creighton out there along with number 82, Wally. Right at the 37 yard line. At the 37, first down and 10. Bosnick, Gtep, and Line, the three deep. Cranach, looks like Russell, Rooker, and Etheridge, the four linebackers. Going to throw on first down, over the middle, incomplete. Try to get it to a guy and get Robin. Second down again. Footing is far from good, I can tell you that. Had a heavy rain. Last night, and uh, today, they're out off and on, and the uh, field is very, very wet and slippery. Second down and 10 for the Falcons. Under center is Basinger. And the handoff goes to the big fullback, and lumbering ahead for eight yards is number 41, Matt King. He is fine with Scott. Five by number uh, Wally and Cranach. So Cranach on the hit also. Second down now. And about, oh, excuse me, third down now. Two. Third down and two. Ball right at the 45 yard line. Matt Basinger, Matt King, Marcus Furman. The offensive set for Connellsville. Wide to the left side goes Dennis Show. Wide to the right side comes Eddie Robbins. And sprinting out, throwing, man open, short. He's got the first down, and ahead four yards goes Jeff Nicholson. Four, Jeff Nicholson, where he stopped by number 11, Justin Gidef for the Mustangs. Here's the Mustang territory to the 41-yard line. It's the first and 10, Connellsville. Connellsville leading at 20 to nothing at the 10.50 mark. Connellsville was 7 in the opening quarter, 13 in the second quarter. Okay, good looking young center, Jay Fox, leads him out. Just a sophomore. And the handoff will go to Furman, straight up the middle, ripping his way for 10 yards. Very close to and should have the first down. He does. Oh, it's a one yard Dan line. Bosnick. Bosnick with the hit. Funnels will be in control right now. First and Hickson. Rick 79 on the right side. Jay Fox in the middle. And let's see who we can highlight on that left side. 
say I can't get the numbers. I think it might be Mike Schallenberger, number 70. That's the left tackle. Nicholson motion, sets up left. Hand off Berman. Elliott's trying to string it out, and they do. Nice job. Berman gets to the 30. Good job Ryan. by Ryan. It'll be also the second down Russell. now and about eight at the 9.48 mark. Connells are on top. Three to nothing. Second, and seven. second down and about eight to go for the first down. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Dupay for the South Indian Township Sports Network. And looking at second down now and eight. Straight back after the draw fake. Throwing deep. Man coming open. Intercepted deep tap fan. No, couldn't that quite hang on. Hey, Robbins, the intended receiver. Deep tap going up high. Almost had his second interception of the year. Cranek, I believe, has two. Got one against Fox Chapel. Got one last week on the final play of the game against Lake Trove. 20 to nothing with 9.42 to go. All Connellsville. LH having a lot of difficulty mustering any offense whatsoever. Under 100 yards total offense in that first half. Third down and seven from the 30. And they're going to slip back to throw. Fires man open, incomplete. Fourth down. Basinger getting pressure from Jeremiah Walker number 84, Jeff Nicholson. on the outside. So it brings up fourth, and let's see if they go for it. That's a 9.38 mark. Basinger to the sideline to talk with Dan Spanish. But what a fine staff uh, he has had through the years. Tom Doley been with him for goodness knows how long. Dick Witt, Babe Marciani, Jeff Galen, Tom Doley Jr., a solid staff. Junior high East coaches, Joe Bonadino, Kevin Harrison, and John Pittsman. They've got a quality program, top to bottom, back to throw. Plenty of time. Now the pressure up over the middle. Incomplete, and LH will That's take over. So the Mustangs incomplete. hold on down and take over first down. A little bit of a morale builder for LH. Now let's see if we can move the ball, guys. First down and 10 at the 9.32 mark, LH. Taking over on down. It's at the 29 yard line. It'll be first and 10 now for Laura Highlands on her own 29 yard line. First down, 10. LH. You can see Grimm out there, Ward. See, I think it's Segman, the right guard. The left uh, guard is Etheridge. We'll try and set the rest of that line here for you in just a second. First down. Handoff, Travis Matthews looking for the corner. And Cooser also there, number 89. Three and second, and seven. second down now and seven at the 9 10 mark. Grimm and Creighton are your tackles. Segman, Ward, and Etheridge up front. Bosnick rolling right. Fires upfield. It's incomplete. Good coverage over there. By number nine two, Dennis Jeff. Show. He kept the intended receiver. Now the number ninety-two, Dennis Show. Okay, a little bit more time that time as Bosnick rolled to the right side. Now we're looking at third down. Let's see what they want. Third and seven. Do you go to a draw or do you put it in the air? We've not had much success either way. Over the football comes Ward. Bosnick on third down. Rolling semi pocket, roll right, fires upfield, man coming open, intercepted. Nice job downfield by Kevin Howe, and he will cross midfield. Kevin Howe, intercepted the ball at the 36 yard line, moving up midfield. to the 49, first and 10, Connellsville. So Connellsville will have it. He was stopped there by number 28, Travis Matthews, Matthews for the Mustang. 
the Howes INT sets Connells up. First down and 10. Now, you can look for him right now to pound it on the ground. Dan Spanish throwing more tonight than I've ever seen him. And the last time, did not get it down the field the way he liked it. Look for him to just pound that ball straight ahead right now. One back set. Look for Furman out as a wing to come inside and get the hand off. There's the motion. And up inside. Ripping his way ahead for the first down at King. He'll go to the 40-yard line. Matt King, the ball carrier. Stopped there by Russell. Stopped by number 46, Todd Russell. And Gethridge also there. So first first and 10, Collinsville. Neverdale back into that set for LH on the defensive side. First and 10, it's at the 39-yard line. Jeremiah Wally, the defensive end to our side. Now he flips. He'll go to the right side and set up with Price to the other side. First down. Handoff, Furman, looking for cutback and gets ahead for six. Got a flag right at the line of scrimmage. More than likely an offensive uh, infraction. Let's see the call. Holding, Holding is 7.57 to go, and this one will make it a first and 20. So that negates about a five-yard run. Moving back. Set it back 10. Call it first down and 20 now. The official today, Larry uh, Get, Paul Soroka, Tom Dugan, Pete Ross, Dave Perillo, and Gary Dillmore. So first down and 20. Now let's see if they air it out here. Just got four downs to get 20. Let's see if they keep it on the ground. And they're going to fake. And the handoff goes up inside. King running free. He's got 10 of it back. He's got 15, 16 of it back. Looker finally rides him down. So they went to the draw. And Rooker on the stop. But again, 17. So second and three now at the 719 mark. 20 to nothing. Your score very quiet crowd now for LH. Second and long three. Over the ball they come. There's a fresh jersey out there right now. Todd Bell. Number 81 who played a lot early. He's out there now. On the left side. I haven't seen him in a while. Under center is Basinger. Handoff King. He's got the first down. He's got the 20. He's got the 15. And good hard running. Pounds it ahead. 644 to go. So the interception by Howe. First down and 10 inside the 20. 6.41 to go. Connellsville leading it. Basinger out and set. Matt has him down, has him ready. Sprint out. Furman. Ahead. Oh, he is pounded by Bosnick. Helmet to helmet right there. And shaking up on the play might be Matt King. He's slow in getting up. Game of five on the play. Uh, by the a by ball player. Down below, it's King, and he tries to get to his feet. King. Official timeout for injury. Official timeout on the injury side. 6.14 to go. 20 to nothing. Third quarter score. Connells are on top, driving for more. I'm John Kazarek, and we're going to come back following this 30-second timeout. 6.14 remaining, and into the lineup will come number 27, Howes. Matt King, under his own power to the sideline, so I anticipate we'll see him. So it's just outside the 10, call it the 11. Second down and five. Second down and five now for Carl Is it Bill. back in the one-back set now? They'll go to an eye and set Kevin Howes up in front of him. Basinger, option, left, all kind of flags. And he's in for the score, but I think he's coming back. We're in for the touchdown. We do have a penalty flag, though, on the 16-yard line. I think we got motion against Connellsville again. 
the second touchdown that has come back, and I think it was both times the uh, quarterback Basinger into the end zone. There it is. For the call again. So that'll make it second and ten back near the. Let's see where they'll put it. Back near the 17 yard line. Nice to see Bonnie Valenic uh, heading down here tonight. Well, about five yards, now Chuck, be 16. Their daughter, Laura Highland Student. Uh, also Richie and Marty, a couple of fine athletes. Back when they played. Second down and 10 now. If they pound it ahead with Thurman. They do not. They're going to throw. Basins are pressured by Russell and gets it away. And that'll be a grounding call. Penalty flag on the play. Basins are one for a Indicate I got a receiver downfield. And it's a grounding call. Just a grounding call again. Yeah. That'll be a 10 yard or five yard penalty, I believe, and more significantly, loss of down. LH had good pressure on. That'll bring up third. Brings up third down and the better part of 24 for the first down. That'll be third down and 24 from the 30 yard line of the Mustang. I want to remind you, Wednesday night, uh, we'll have Uniontown LA Soccer right here on CUTV. Your South Union Township Sports Network. Back to throw. Another flag. Oh, there's an interference call. Got to be. No. Okay, that's a flatten. Number 81, Todd Bell. And well before the ball got there. Now let's see what the call is. We got away with one. That should have been offsetting penalties, I'm going to tell you right now. Third and 24. I, I don't think he takes the penalty. Decline. That's the fourth down. Fourth down. So Connellsville has come unglued after a touchdown was nullified on an offside call. They had an intentional grounding call. And now another motion call. So still 20 to nothing at the 536 mark, fourth down, into the sideline to get the play call. This number 15. Matt Basinger, 20 to zip at the 536 mark. LH is going to be in a bit of a prevent. They've got to get to the six-yard line for the first down. They've got about 24 yards to go. Basinger looks uh, for... No, he's going to roll. Pressure coming from Price. And he got him. Price and Bobby Neverdale and Russell on the sack. Price, Neverdale, and Russell. First down and 10. And Chris Saunders is in that offensive line for LA along with Ben Perslow. And the Mustangs take over. First and 10 on down. First and 10. 30 to go. You got to show you can run the ball on these guys a little bit. First down and 10. So LA, good defensive series right there with the help of the Cowboys. LA under center with Bosnick. Going to hand off. Here's a hole for Matthews Nold. Is it ever close? Hello, how do you do? Number 89, Eric Kuzer. Well, there was an opening there initially, and man, did it close. The door closed in a hurry. No game. Second down. Second and 10. 5'10, 5'9, 5'08 to go. First glove. Saunders, the young tackle. Segment. Ward. And Ian Etheridge, the inside people. Bosnick back. Not much time. Fires out here. Incomplete. And a collision with Price. And number 32, the sophomore DB, brings up third down and 10. 
LH's offense just is not there. And got to credit Connellsville's defense with that. First and 10 Falcons, 4.41 to go. Nice to see Mike Lucy here tonight watching the ball game. Seated right down there, I believe, with the Prices and the Geekep family. His son, Sean, of course, fine basketball baseball player for LH a couple of years back. High formation set, quarterback stumbles, getting a handoff up ahead to Kevin. About four Etheridge on the hit. Second down. I'll tell you what, they're going to say his knee touched back near the 24, so it'll only be a gain of one or two. Clock running. Second, at nine now for Second down, better part of nine. 20 to nothing, your score at the 408 mark. And off left side, look out. Furman runs into the official. Otherwise, he may score. The He's going to get the first down, I believe. Stop by number 30, Kevin Booker at number 20. Booker first and Cranack on the stop. Let's see if they move the chain. And they do. First down and 10. First down, down. Ball's at the 15 yard line. dominating this football game, leading it 20 to nothing, just giving LA nothing offensively. Basins are out, set, house, big hole, it closes. Bosnick, I tell you, he is a fine defensive player, believe me. He closes and he'll come up and he'll give you a licking. He is tough. That looked like it was popping for big yardage, and then all of a sudden you saw that big number three close in and make the hit. Game of two on the play, the second and eight. Center. Handoff, Furman, 10, and the five yard line. Furman. At the 230 mark. Stop by number 22, Nick Lyons. Nick Lyons on the hit. Third and one. Third down and one. Third down, and one, and hand off, Furman, is he going to touch down? So Furman, touchdown. I tell you what, I'm looking down, I think tonight I've been identifying 76, which is the program listing for purse glove, but as I look down there, I see Mahoney uh, as uh, wearing number 76. So the touchdown makes it now a 26 to nothing ball game. And let's see if they go for two. No, they'll go for one. So another touchdown run here at the 151 mark. 
And the PAT coming from Drew Joseph. On the tee, plenty of leg. It is up. It is good. That's a 151, Mark. 151, let's go to the third quarter. 27 0. Connell's on top. Wolfpack with 60 seconds. Joseph, that's Florida Big Stan. Kick is a line drive. This will head all the way back and picked up at the goal line by Travis. He comes ahead and immediately hammered down. That kick went directly between. Both uh, ball players and went back to the goal line. In the lineup now, we see 79 and 66 for LH. That means Mike Grimm, the junior tackle. 66, Mike Creighton will be in there. Okay, segment number 55 is there. The center will be number 51. He's bullish, I believe. The boss that leaves him out is at the 10 yard line. Well, let's make it at the 12. First down and 10. First and 10, Laura Holland. Bosnick under center. First down. Slip it off inside. Matthews is smothered. Seven, Matthews. The accounting firm of Smith Lewis, Chesson Company of Uniontown is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's Laura Highlands Connellsville Falcon High School football game. The office is located at 25 Cherry Tree Lane here in Uniontown. For more information, please phone 438-7088. That's the accounting firm of Smith Lewis, Chesson Company. 116 to go. Second down now, and about nine. Bosnick, back, firing, has the test band incomplete. He was 11. By number 32, Tony Hughes. So LA in the passing department struggling here tonight at 3 of 15 at the 102 mark. Nothing your score, LH. Out of the lineup four. The Mustangs come Eddie Cup. He was in there. Third down now and ten Bosman. Gonna drop straight back. Gonna try and get it out of here in the flat. He dropped in the end zone. And Bosman, you take it down the end zone for the safety by the Falcons. I think it was number. Nine David Nedro. So Nedro with the safety. Nedro tackles Bosnick. At the 56 second mark of the third quarter. And LH will be forced to punt it, free kick it. So there's timeout on the field as they go back up and line up for the ensuing Free kick. I'm John Kazaris for 299. We break. It's 29 nothing. Connellsville. Looking late. with the free kick for LH and this will go out of bounds at the 38 yard line. So I'll tell you what, I don't they threw a penalty marker here, so this is like a kickoff. Now let's see what they do. They can I think move the ball to the 40 or 45. It went out at the 38. Now they gotta confer and see what Connells will elect to do with it. Might spot it at the 45. Is what they're looking at or do you want them to kick it again? Let's see the call. Oh, boy. I think they're going to make LH re-kick it. And they'll make LH kick it again. Tell me on the play. So the Mustangs will have to stand back in their 15-yard line, I believe. Or let's see where they put it. No, they'll give it to Connellsville where? All right, you can't give it to them at the 40. My goodness. And 
I can see the 40 on the other side of the field, or maybe even at midfield or the 45. Let's see where they put it down. It's got to be covered very specifically in the rule book, and they're going to put it at the 45. The 45 yard line. So Connellsville's got it. First down and 10. Looks like Keith Shear will be the new quarterback. Quarterbacking for Connellsville now is number 16, Keith Shear. Shear is in. And there's a flag. Connells will move before the snap. The end out here on the right side. Very obviously moved. Head on the side again. Their wide receiver to the right hitch. First and 15. 50 seconds to go. This third quarter is taking an eternity, believe me. Seconds remaining, third quarter. They'll start the clock. Go back to the midfield line. Take it in. First call. down and 15 for Connellsville. Here is your quarterback, number 16. He's 6'1. He's a sophomore. Probably their quarterback of the future. Looks like that same offensive line. Fox leads him out. Good move by Dan Spanish. Handoff goes straight ahead. Oh my goodness. Big running room. For number Brandon 24, Wilson Brandon on the play. Wilson. Stopped by the Mustangs, number 14, Eric Bronsick. Bronsick makes the hit. And it will be second down now. In about three to go. Gain of about 12. Gain of 12 on the play. Thank and you they may just let the clock three. run down as they huddle at the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 second mark. And they'll not get this one off. We've come to the end of the third quarter. It's all Connellsville. 29, the Mustangs, nothing. We'll be right back. And that ends our third quarter action with the Six score. Eight. Connellsville, Mustangs, Laurel Highlands, nothing. The Cherry Tree Cafe, located at 3... Rowan to attempt the PAT, and this is his second attempt at it. He's got plenty of leg in it, and it is up, and, and it is good. So make it 36 nothing. 11.25 to go. We'll keep it right here. to go as Connellsville will tee it up. Drew Joseph and the mercy rule is in effect right now. The clock will run. This is the rule instituted this year. I don't know if it's PIAA or WPIL. And the kick away. Very high. Very deep. Down inside the 10 and out of bounds. So the clock will continue to run. 
and LH will get the ball as the ball goes out of bounds at the 10, get it out somewhere near the 40. Let's see who they send out now on that offensive line. Looks like Grimm. It'll be one of the tackles, Big Mike. First down and 10. So the clock will run. A lot of white shirts out there for Connellsville. So a nice move by Dan Spanish to get his second unit in. Green jerseys galore on first down. Bosnick, Matthews gets ahead and Travis up. Matthews for Matthews on the carry. Stop by number 60. Second Dave unit Cunio. personnel in there. David Cunio makes the stop. Game of five. It's the second and five. Clock running at 10-17. Bosnick out and set. It's a new receiver out there. I think that might be Jimmy Stillwagon. We'll look and see if it's 27. Handoff goes up inside the Matthews and gets recovered by Connellsville, number 60, David Cuneo. Cuneo with the recovery. So Connellsville will get it, and the clock continues to run. Second unit offensively in there at the 932 mark and Shearer checks in. Faithful hanging around here for LA. Some subs out there for the Mustangs also. Looks like David Emery out there. So it looks like a lot of second unit personnel both ways. Handoff goes to Wilson. He is hit initially by Rooker. He's played well. Russell was there also. Gain of a yard on the play. Make it second and nine. Frank Francis, the sophomore, moves in. LH will be on the road, I believe, next week at Penn Trafford. And we'll be on the air for that one at 720 with pregame activity. We'll tee it up at 730. And, of course, it will be seen next Sunday night. All Connells will now 36 to nothing at the 840 mark. Handoff goes straight up ahead, and with the carry, that's Nate Culp, the senior. And Nate Culp, the ball carrier. That's a couple. Stopped by number 72, Jared Kingston, and Kingston number 80, Joe Price, Price for Laura Highland. Along with Price. Gain of three, it's a third down and five. Into the lineup now comes Johnny Whitlatch, Danny Rockwell in that secondary now is a deep DB. Young man has had some injury problems, I'll tell you. So he'll be the defensive safety. I think he is back there with Justin Bullish. Option right, handoff up inside, and it's Wilson again, and he'll not have the first down. Clock continues to run. 7.45 to go. Number 44, Matt Hughes is the ball carrier. Mr. and Mrs. John Boscovich. Taking the action in, here comes Bob Renzi. Fourth and one. Connellsville coach, and what a fine job he's done with that baseball program. 7.26 to go, fourth and one. Follow the legendary Tom Sankovich. And that's the 36 yard line. Fourth and one. Under center is Shear. Flip it off to Wilson. He's got the first down. Ready to for the first down for Arnie Connellsville, number 20, Nate Cole. Arnie, we're, uh, as soon as this one's over, we're going to wrap Stop it up. Stop by number 30, Kevin Rooker from Morrow Island. Back to you. We'll, when we get down around three or four minutes, we'll highlight the scoring for the three yard line at the first and ten. Give it to you for Oldies Unlimited. So it's first down and ten now. It's at the 23-yard line. Connellsville comfortably in front. Leading at 36 to nothing. Under center. The handoff goes up ahead of the big fullback and ripping his way, dragging people. 
Matthews. He's down inside the 20. Stop there by number 29, Justin Bullish, the sophomore. Stop there by number 29, Justin Bullish for Price coming Laurel Island. To the 18-yard line is the first and 10, Donaldsville. Along with Wally, out of the lineup come Francis and John Whitlack. First and 10, 5.50 to go. That about the 18-yard line. The fellas can make a last gasp stand here. And off goes up ahead and good yardage for Nate Colt. Nate Colt, the ball carrier. 5.33 to go. It's inside the 15. Second down now and about six. New backs coming in. Kenny Mick, Kenny Mickey, 42. Matt Hughes checks back in. Five, second and five. 21. Ron Doppelhauer. Out of the lineup will come Nate Colt. Out here wide now to the left side is Jeff Cesario. See, we got a new quarterback. No, still Shear. The handoff goes up inside. And good running effort that time by number 21, Dan Ron Doppelheimer. Number 21, Ron Doppelheimer. That'll be first and goal. He's by number 20, Bart Cranach. Cranach on the hit. Connellsville taking it right down the field again. 26-yard line was the first and goal. Connellsville. First and goal. Four thirty-eight remaining. Under center is Shear on first and six. Touchdown. Matt Humes for the score. Six yard run by Humes. And that comes at the 419 mark of the fourth quarter. So Connellsville's lead balloons to 42 to nothing. And is that Nate Rowan again? It is. So Rowan to add the PAC. Here's the snap. It's on the tee. The kick is up. Plenty of leg. It's high. It's true. And it's 43 to nothing. Well, we got a break here. Want to highlight the scoring plays both on the radio and TV side. Laurel Highland Laurel Highland. First couple of possessions, they were three and out. Had an opportunity once on a fumble recovery, but couldn't advance it. Punted to Connellsville, and Connellsville drove it 68 yards all on the ground. A 14-yard run, run by Furman. Joseph with the PAT made it 7 nothing. It was the end of the quarter. Then L.A. Kangen with them pretty good, but broke down a bit in the second quarter uh, late because of some uh, a partial block punt that L.H. was trying to pin them back deep, and the punt partially blocked. They got it at the 30. Connellsville did and drove it uh, 70 yards with Furman, a 22-yard run for the touchdown. Joseph PAT made it 14-0. Then Kevin House blocked the punt and on the next possession at the 239 mark of the second quarter. One play, 28-yard run and drive by, again, the uh, sophomore Marcus Furman, the PAT, was no good. It was 20 to nothing. That was our halftime score. We'll highlight the rest of them here as Connells will tease it up with Joseph. And the run up and the kick. Line drive. He picked up back deep. I think that's his train act. And oh, he is hitters. That Matthews. Matthews to the 20 yard line. First down and 10. Matthews gets up very slowly. He's coming to the sideline. Boy, he's still first, first, first down and 10 with 3.54 to go. Second half was more Connellsville scoring action. At late in the third quarter, a fumble recovery by Ricks and a 26-yard drive all on the ground. Furman from 12 yards out. PAT was good, made it 27, I think. Then late in the third quarter, 56 seconds to go. Nedro tackled Bosnick in the end zone for a safety. And on the ensuing play, 45-yard drive after the free kick. Jimmy Hughes, Hughes up the middle, 10-yard run, and the PAT was good by Rowan. 
And then finally here, 43 to nothing on the run by Hume. On the keeper, here comes Just quarterback the keeper. Keeper. Quarterback keeper. of about seven. So we're down to three tenths. So that's where we stand. That's the score behind Hume. 43 to nothing. Some new people checking in for L.A. Bobby Walters is in. That's Second what we'll come out. Second down and four with 252 to go. So Arnie, in about three minutes, she'll be yours. Marianne Saunders walking by. Nice to see her. Keith played a lot here tonight. Under center is Bosnick. Excuse me, is Gitep. Got to regroup and go back at uh, Penn Trafford next week. Hand off straight up inside. I don't know if it's Storkovic. Well, he's not an inside runner. He's only going about 135 pounds, and he's got the speed and quickness to get outside. Takes the yeah, time straight up the middle. Florkovich on the carry. Saw his dad here earlier. <clears throat> no game two the play, so no. Down, two eights to go. Out of the lineup for L.H. Number 37, Matt Doyle. Gitep. Gonna roll right if he gets the corner. Looks upfield, fires, and a flag. Second so flag comes in. For so the pass was Whitlash. intended for Whitlash and the penalty complete, against Collinsville. 43 to nothing. First down and 10. Clock is running. I want to remind you on the TV side, should be a good one coming up. Bell Vernon and Peter Township. First and 10, Mustang. Planning on watching that one myself. I got a cousin, young Stephen Shook, sophomore starter on the offensive line for the Peter Township Indians, and I'll be watching that one. 59 seconds to go. See if LH wants to air it out. In there right now, again is Doyle, tight end. Z-set, under center, and an option. Pitch out here to Florkovich to the corner, and he's out of it. With 35 seconds to go. I want to thank Ernie Amber, back on the uh, board. Did a great job engineering, always a pleasure to work with him. And I'll tell you, he's got a heck of a nice son here. No question. Kevin and Arnie obviously got his look from his mother. Nice looking young man. Very polite and a lot of fun to be with. So that'll wrap it up right now as we come down to the 13, 12, 11, 10 second mark. This will be the final play. Final score is going to be 43 to nothing. Connellsville is going to win it. And there's your pass straight up ahead. Fronsek with the big hit. And a big hit to Henry. So the final score, 43 to nothing in favor of the Connellsville Falcons. And we'll see you next Friday night here on Q99. I'm John Cesare. This has been a Q99 Sports Presentation. Arnie, you got it. Back for the final time on the South Union Township Sports Network, John Kazarek, the scoreboard tells it all. 43 to nothing, Connellsville dominating. 20 in the first half, 23 unanswered in the second half, and they win it to go to two and two, LH falls to one and three. <laughs> South Union Township Sports Network coverage brought to you again as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffer, Rock Fogel, and Tom Frankhauser. Telecon Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Craig Tomczyk and CUTV and our main man, Mr. J.R. Wheeler. I'm John Kazarek. For Jerry Dupay, we bid you a...